All right. Just doing some pre-stream setup. All right. I have a mic on. <laughs> That's good. Just uh, when uh, there's my hmm. Not yet. I am just I'm some <laughs> sending out some messages on uh, Discord. And yeah, I'm just waiting for some signs of. Good morning. Join the stream. I think. Yeah. 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 I think that's it. Oh, to be honest, I have <laughs> a sort of a, a problem with, you know, kind of inviting people to the stream just for the fact that I'm like, well, like, what if they want to play the game and, like, you know, it feels weird trying to invite people who may not have played it before. But... Um, I got distracted looking at things. But then I oh. Hey, Jasmine. Glad to see you here. Alright. Now, in my tweet, I mentioned I could do some dangerous science. And I wasn't joking about that. Because I have two things in my... Oh yeah, so I was speaking about, like, while this is going on. Yeah, I'm waiting for, I want to say about ten minutes. About ten minutes. Uh, it's kind of weird, like, you know, like, hey, come watch this stream to, like, pot you know, potential people who may not have any idea what's going on. Because, you know, the puzzles and mysteries and whatnot. But I'm like it I I would want to you know, like advertise me on like uh a channel or like a Discord server or whatever of peeps who have played the game before. You know. I feel like they could get a kick out of this as well. Then again, I have had some like friends join in. You know, like haven't played the game before and still had a blast watching. <laughs> but yeah, it's just kind of like or you're saying, like, oh, I don't want to spoil them at the same time. I want them to enjoy watching this nonsense. And I'm also sorry that you had unexpected and spicy food. Hey! Hello, Sand Dolphin. Glad to hear that your apps are updated. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully things go better this time. Hmm. Voice feels kind of gravelly, but yeah, we're we're off to do some danger science. Well, we're waiting so that I can do the danger science. Ah, this should be good enough. Because last time, actually. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, okay, let me look over at the rumor mill. Last time we did quite a bit. I was it. We went in here. 
from last time. I'm trying to... <laughs> we were messing around with the Tower of Quantum Knowledge last time. But before that, we had learned something very important about our friend here, the Ash Twin. And I had two ideas that I didn't want to test with just yet, but, you know, to get me back in the mood for things, I... Er, I'm back in the mood, but, you know, uh, back into the swing of things. Let's... Okay, this is why I do things. Walls. Okay. Yeah, let's just use this. Let's just do some fancy uh, dodging. camera. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. So, what I've been thinking about is the Ash Twin project, and specifically the core of Ash Twin. Because what it does for us is immense. It, it's, you know, they're the reason why I titled that stream, um, yeah, that stream, where we found out what all it actually does for us. You know, the will of fortune, because it's just like, it's so fundamental to, you know, the loops that we do. And I'm wondering two things. First, what happens if we take out the core? I mean, the obvious answer is that uh, something bad happens. <laughs> I mean, the obvious thing is that we don't want to take out the core. But... You know, because it allows us... It allows us to have the information that we learned be sent, you know, back to the past. And, you know, I mean, I even did an ending where uh, I destroyed space-time. So I'm like, no, it, it, it let me continue from there. I just want to know, what happens if I, uh, just completely... What happens if we remove the core? Huh. Did everything... Alright. So the core is removed. And we can drop it. And, yeah, we see the black hole and the white hole connected by one thing. And uh, this is the kind of annoying part of this that I kind of... No, this is very dangerous science. Because I have two hypotheses. One... Um, no, I can still get back into my ship and... Uh, do what I wanted to try. Because, uh, two ideas. One, what happens if I die normally without 
being able to warp. Uh, technically, I can try it in various ways, but my second hypothesis is can I survive the supernova while inside of here? Because it'll. Like, I don't see any of this break down, but eventually the core will activate if I'm in here and just, like, send my memories back in the past anyway. So I'm wondering. What happens if just, you know, there's do some incredibly dangerous science. Playing end times already. Weird. What am I looking for? Oh, yes, I'm looking for the white hole, or particularly the black hole. <laughs> I had never heard this music before. Nope. Abort autopilot. Go. Oh wow, we're eighty or oh wow, over a hundred kilometers away from the solar from the sun. I mean, we're technically still in the solar system, like, our solar system has a tremendous range. Oh, this is not... I've never... <laughs> oh, wow. this song before. I mean, it's gorgeous, and it reminds me of the End Time song, but... God, yeah. 100 kilometers an hour. Holy cow. Oh, I'm on a different plane than the sun. I didn't know you could go out this far. Oh god. <laughs> oh wow. Negative 2,655 meters per second. 2.6 kilometers uh, a second. Uh, 60 divided into that. Uh, I, I'm going fast, is what I'm saying. I didn't know I could go out this far. Christ. <laughs> I got an achievement. It's almost like that. 
far enough away to hear... Huh. And also, uh, to read your message, it's almost like the action you took has something unique. Definitely. Yeah, it's not... I wish I could hear it, but the, uh, the normal game audio has something different to say about that. This is interesting. Yeah, this is definitely telling me that I've done something really interesting with getting the core out of there. Because this isn't end times, and I... I mean, it's, it's a pretty noisy not end times, but it's definitely not end times. Yeah, I also like that too, that I get more, like, kind of so, so far away that just everything converges. So I wonder how... And then there's silence. Oh! Must have been the supernova. Interesting. What? I can still hear their signal? thought about being able to see it because most of the time, you know, uh, everything's fucking dead, but the solar map. This is... Uh... I think it's a bug? Oh wait, also... Where's... Okay. That's interesting. Everything's in blue and there's... Back to the trigger the ending? Yeah, same here. Uh, but also... I'm... I'm over a hundred kilometers away. Oh, okay. Now beyond the reach of the supernova, you drift through space until your ship's resources are finally depleted. Damn. Hey! Bwomp, 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 bwomp. <laughs> Welp, I mean, it was an ending. 
but it wasn't what I was expecting. Oh boy. Um. Hmm. No, I, I don't feel bad about skipping over the ending there. <laughs> that was bizarre. And also, I didn't expect it to take me back here. I wish... Oh, whatever. Doom did her through space for the rest of their short life. Yeah. God, I didn't think I'd be able to get that far away from the solar... From the, you know... Them. That said, there's something else I noticed. You know, like, at the start of the game, the sky, you know, the space is filled with stars. But by that point, they were basically all gone. So, to quote you, so yeah, you lost all the things you did this loop. Thank... I mean, yeah... <laughs> no, I don't know if I can fill up my ship with any more uh, marshmallows, but I can give myself one. Alright. You know, I could have tested out my second theory to see if you can survive at the, uh, the the core Tefra and Gal Galeni Galena um that's the hide and seek right So I don't get any new completely <laughs> If I give you the marshmallows, you can completely trust me it can trust you to put them in the ship and you won't eat them. Uh, I, 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 I I trust you. an art. <laughs> well, if it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their s signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, uh, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Sure, let's play. Woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios, and you will use your signal scope to find us. Last one to, uh, to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Eyes. Closed. Oh, do they get the completed sound? No, oh, you found me from behind. That was super good. Don't forget, you need to find both of us, okay? I, I won. I'm I'm happy. Uh, thanks for playing with us. They got some kind of thing. They do. 
It kind of reminds me of the completed. Uh... Oh, the kids' radios are the Traveler song from the Alpha with that little extra reverb. Nice. But, yeah. That is really neat. Um, that said, should I test out my second hypothesis of can you survive the supernova inside of the thing? Or should I just get on to, uh... Sorry, I had to... wait. For the, uh, marshmallow, but yeah. Should I... get on... with... <laughs> Uh, you can hear it in the in that cheers drum beat is completely different than <laughs> Pidmon. The sap wine bar <laughs> door opens. Chur the whole bar <laughs> cries. <laughs> ah, that's good. But um, yeah. Should I do my second science experiment of can you ride out the uh, supernova? Or would that basically give me the same thing, or slightly different? Or would I just not survive the shelf in the suit? I'll cave. I'll go. Check under the shelf. Oh. Uh, you mean here? I can't zoom in. Okay, I can zoom in. Jumbo marshmallows. Wine, probably. Fish as well. Uh, no idea what that is. And oh yeah, that's probably more oxygen and fuel. Target acquired. <laughs> you did put the, the ship. Thanks. Some flask of wine. Some plates. And fish. Yes. Also, I love how futuristic this computer looks, but you know, like the you know this bit right here. Is still, you know, carved out of wood. But, yeah. I feel like we've went a whole day. In, oh, in whole. In, in game day. But. Ah, uh, that sounds good. But. Um, should I test on my hypothesis, I think? And yeah, so the ships have many oxygen supplies. Shrimp first. <laughs> but yeah, should I... Oh, what, what else was I going to do? Um, actually... Nice. Ah, you're thinking of your thing. But yeah. Mural, Black Hole Forge. Ah, uh, the Hanging City. This technically isn't done, I think. There's still something that I wanted to find in there, like a... Uh, I remember Jazz you telling me about uh, a... What was it called? The stone deals with the uh, 
Wow, how did I forget the term for it? You know, the poles? Like the portal poles? No. <laughs> you know, that shows you information if you put slot in the thing. Like, that there's something that I couldn't really get to there. Seen yet. Uh, send. Er, send off in. If it helps science... If it helps science, if you're thinking of doing what I think you're thinking of doing, it would result in something I don't think we've seen yet. Production stones. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So there's still that there, but... Um, actually, let me... I don't know how much time left we have in this loop. I kind of wish that there'd be something that would act like a clock. Because I... Because if I go down here and doze off, it only, yeah, it, it only gives me relativistic time of how much I'm dozing off from when I began, but I don't know how much time is left. Because if I'm thinking of doing what I'm, <laughs> if I do what I'm thinking of doing on this loop while I still, well, okay. I did get the, well, I can get the signals back from those two pretty easily, but it's just not very useful. No, you're right, there is a clock. Where if the projection stone ends up when the... Uh, mm. Ah, damn. But, yeah. If I'm... Well, I can get their signals. Oh, you no, know Maybe I just actually... Go do stuff. A wild idea. Okay, I am. Here is you. Uh, technically, I still need to get to Hollow's Lantern. No, I. Maybe that's how I. Make progress, and maybe still have time to go do things. Uh, I wish I could just set myself in orbit around something without. Wait, it's hard to. Uh, let me read your messages while all the pilot is working. I test, um... Sorry, there's some Discord messages blocking up my screen. Um, I tested it when I was working through my get every ship log without checking the log, aka, uh, fan rumor mode. Uh, generally don't know what the project stone is there. Remember, if you make progress, it doesn't save if you get... If you get an ending. Ah, okay. Well... What? Oh, I was wondering if the, uh... There appeared to be a place in the Tower of Quantum Knowledge that had... Uh... A stone pair, like... But I couldn't find where on Earth you would... I love the sound effects. Mm -hmm. Can I land on... I would just land on the lava, which I'm pretty sure would kill me. Because, yeah, I don't see any... Wait.
gonna gently kiss. We did it. We did it. Ha ha ha. We're on a hellish moon. If anything gained from this. There's an unknown quantum fluctuation there. Okay, be careful. The quantum, the hollow lantern has barely any gravity. Yeah, it has 0.3. Jeez. I'll fly farther than I think if I use a jetpack. And I'm guessing jumping is basically out of the question. If I uh, do a sick jump, I think I might. So jumping isn't out of the question, it's just, uh, gotta find out. Actually, I keep forgetting I have a little scout. going on? I didn't jump. I didn't... What on earth happened? Goodbye, ship. If this... It's losing... Oh. Oh. Oh, it's losing mass. I didn't jump, but I was sent flying when I was on the mountain. Hello, hello, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> My ship is... Okay, it's point... It's... Uh, it's not long for this world. Headlight. Interesting. Point three G point two. I have rocket boosters to keep me. I wish I... <laughs> Fun times. Um... Is there anywhere... ...for me to enter? Part of me wishes... Because, um, nothing in- oh, there's nothing in this volcano. Ass. Three minutes oxygen remaining. If 
you'll look for something, you'll see it. Well, I mean, I, I would have more faith in that if I had my uh, spaceship. For obvious reasons. Pause the game for a second to read. And also, I guess, could you send that link my way on Discord later? Because <laughs> I, yeah, probably can't watch a uh, clip right now. If there's something in a volcano, it'll be obvious when the bloom and all. Oh, with the bloom and all. Oh, okay, that's what you meant. Alright. I thought you meant, like, on uh, Hollow's Lantern overall, just because, like, it has a, uh, what did they have? There's information in it for the... Uh, ship log, that's what I'm talking about. Like, it has a... I was about to say a chart. Um, it has a place in the map, but not... I have no idea what on earth I could be doing to get information about it. And uh, Are you not going to... You... I, Sorry, it's just, I got kind of caught up in thinking that there wasn't anything in the volcanoes at all. Because, like, you said there weren't any in the one I was looking at, so I was like, okay. I'm thinking I can... Hollow Lantern is a hell moon. Yeah. <sighs> well, I'm about to die in a few seconds anyway. Yeah, I think that was too. I just didn't notice the mini map just kind of getting turned around without just, you know, obsessively looking at it. It doesn't help that everything is. <laughs> everything is volcano. much, but, um, I'm trying to think how much time do I need to do what nonsense I wanted to do. If you find Kano with a tasty treat inside, beyond, you know, the lava, um, yeah, the landing camera could probably help with that, but I think... Before I do that, it's time to do some serious science. And I think I'm gonna give myself go up to 15 minutes, because it's 22 minutes a loop. It's gonna take, <laughs> knowing me, it may take me some time to get to the damn planet. Uh, yeah, so that we don't have to wait too long with me inside of Ash Core again. 
So I think for this loop, we're going to do some science. Doze till 18, you say. All right, if you say so. I wish you can speed this up. Or, you know, just select how long you'd want to doze off for. Time to do some immediate science. Immediately, er, some serious science. Immediately takes a nap. Taking the Gabbro method, I see. You know what? Yeah, we're, we're taking the Gabbro method. Of just... We're gonna... Of we're gonna nap for a while and then see how things turn out. Fun. <laughs> but yeah, how 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 have y'all been? I I'm 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 being I am doing what I can to you know try to stay afloat. But yeah, <laughs> I love doing science like that too. Yeah, that'd be nice. You don't... Oh, it's, it's meant to speed up. Weird. And congrats on your, for your mouth being less on fire. Too bad... I, <laughs> uh, too bad I wasn't there to help you with the, uh, the spicy chicken. By help, I mean eat some of the spicy chicken. Because I love spicy food. Yeah, I think fifth. Uh, yeah, probably eighteen would be better. Give me four minutes. No, uh, less than four minutes to get get in, get to the thing, get warped. Okay, no, I think fifteen minutes, just because it's not speeding up, and so that I can make sure that <laughs> I I uh, do what I was planning to do properly. Ah, oh, you think it's made to be slower in consoles so that they can do the physics properly? No, that... Yeah, I I can believe that. Because, yeah, with how the physics... Oh yeah, 18. See us late. Uh, the sun ain't looking hot. enough time, I think. Spiciness of the uh, the sun. Anyway, I keep forgetting I'm on a tight schedule.
Alright, there's what I'm looking for. Don't have enough. Alright. Oh no. I hope I didn't miss my last window as well. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Alright, I hear the sand. No, I'm hearing the sun. We slept till, uh, like 15 something, but I had some difficulties getting to Ashwin. Uh, ooh, I always hate that sound. Dreadful. Move in when the plant's overhead, even the sand's not there. Alright. Gotta... Fuck, no, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck me. I think that was my last window. Because... You know what, I knew I should have just waited. Or just ran in there, but... I... both kind of panicked. Yeah, I kind of panicked, and you were like, oh, the sand's gone. And I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound right, but I'm like, alright, now I'm trusting you guys that the sand will be gone. But it wasn't. Hooray. No science was done this <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, I don't think I have. I mean, fuck. <laughs> I don't think I have time. Yeah. <sighs> Let's see here. It's... I think if I don't get it, just because the timer doesn't speed up, I could have sworn it sped up one time when I tried it out. And it's... alright, Jazz. Yeah, I was kind of unsure myself, and just was like... I should have just waited normally, to just look up and be like, ah, oh, okay. Sand or no sand, just run in there. What's there to lose by standing on the end time platform? On the end times platform? Yeah, no. Oh, maybe next time I'll speed up if you don't go to the ship first? If it's a loading thing? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that might be it. Because I went to the ship first, that may be some weird thing. Or during the end times. Ah, you know what? I was hoping to be able to get this done fairly quickly, but...
This is taking a bit. Mm. You know what? I'll give this one more shot since it hasn't been the uh, a full hour recording yet. Uh, wrong thing. Doze off. Alright. One more time. I'm going to go for 15 minutes again, just because <laughs> I always, for some reason, I always have trouble just actually getting to planets at times. Well, especially the, of like, lifting off and, you know, facing the, the planet I want to get to. I've gotten much better at actually flying or piloting my uh, spaceship, but I'm still not great at just pointing myself at a planet and getting there, unless it's like giant steep, because it's its uh, orbit around the sun is so much further that I don't really have trouble finding it. And yeah. Ah, whack. But, yeah. <sighs> I, I honestly don't know. You know, since you all said that you've never seen this done, I, yeah, I'm going to give it one more honest try before we just spend the rest of the stream uh, probably poking around Brittle Hollow. Um, maybe trying to find that projection stone. But yeah, I honestly wonder if you could. Yeah, kind of excited to see the re the results though. Uh, I mean, I. Weird. I I kind of vaguely remember it speeding up before. Yeah. 15 minutes should be good, and then I just wait for it normally. And don't panic. That's what I need to do. But also I love how Slate is just letting me sleep for uh, several days. Is that faster timer or not? I can't remember. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Like, it feels at first it goes by really fast, but then you expect it to go by faster once it reaches a certain time, but nah. <laughs> All right, time to go. All right, standard procedure.
gosh. Uh. Let me pause the stream real quick. What are y'all talking about? Uh, oh, um, okay. As long as y'all are doing all right, but yeah, we have, I think, with getting here. Ah, you're trying to whisper some secrets. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, after science, it looks like there isn't a prediction stone in Tower Quantum Knowledge. That's good now. game time. I appreciate the looking out. And yeah, I do love the Know My Towers. They are amazing. Alright. I have some time. As the sand is going up. Time to do messed up science. Let's go. Uh. Let's. Come on. I should have let my uh, little scout be on the outside. <laughs> Once you got your tinker toy, maybe you should go to swim in Hollow's Lantern. Tinker toy. Yeah, no, I'm planning to stay in here. Because I want to see if you can ride out the uh, supernova while in here. 
That was my original plan that kind of took forever just because of getting here and all. Oh, and just started playing. Oh, I hear it going off. Huh. Ooh, that's a spicy amount of energy going on here. It's drawing so much power. Huh. Oh, my eyes. Scout. I was about to say a little scout, do some science. <laughs> uh. Alright. So the uh Ash Core was it can withstand the supernova for a bit, but not that long. No time for a little. Yeah, I was trying to see if I can shoot out the little scout and see like how is the planet <laughs> while uh, supernova is happening. But, yeah, nothing on there. Well, we did all that. Well, we've, we've, we've done something. We still get a marshmallow for that. I was hoping for something a little bit more, uh, exciting, but, you know, it, sometimes not everything happens that's so exciting, um, node and the alignment comes overhead. Uh, what? Will the little scout warp if it's on a warp tower node and the alignment comes overhead? Yes, that has happened. We have done this before. Actually, that's how I found out about the Ash Core. Because I didn't... The first time I have got anything to warp there, it wasn't me. It was the little scout. But yeah. Um, old settlement. Mural, mural. Uh, Black Old Forge. Alignment. Ah, the Hanging City. Oh yeah, I don't know if there is a... I haven't found a shortcut to there yet, other than just... You know. So if it's on the charge one... Uh, what? The charge white hole platform gets sent back, would it then return to us? Because maybe those times I thought it was stuck in the ATP, it wasn't actually... Yeah, no. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah. I think I want to go to Brittle Hollow. I mean, I would go to Sh Hollow's Lantern, but... No, let's go... Let's go mess around here. I think. This... Quantum signal. Oh yeah, there's also the ocean's depth. I know how to get there now, which is nice. And also the pro cannon. But no, oh, yeah, let's do things the order I said I would do. Yeah. 
gotta do some sweet stunts. Hell. Whew. All right. Um. God, what was I focusing on? I got completely uh, lost track of everything. I mean, technically, this is a shortcut to the uh, city. Pause real quick. Had, had it. <clears throat> okay, you're answering question. Oh wait, is the reason why you can? Ooh, I've had an interesting idea. to, you know, have the scout here and take images of where the moon is. something looking like it had a... Uh... Yeah, okay, now I remember. Crossroads. Let's go! I heard something warp. Oh, it not warped, but it got sucked in the black hole. Eh. Let's get yo yo. That's a close entrance to the hanging city. Oh, you launched! That's great. Good job, you. Um. Okay. Can I ask you something? I learned something. Oh, cool. What was it? Oh, okay. Yeah, here's where I want to go. I found no. Mm. Oh, uh, mm, cool. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, what voice did I do for this for Ryback? And also, yeah, they do have a really tiny ap aperture for their helmet. Huh. Interesting, but... Oh, huh. I found no my writing about a quantum pilgrimage. A pil- the... Uh, uh, a pilgrimage? A pilgrimage to the quantum moon? The, the Nomai mentioned the quantum moon in a lot of their writing, so it's clearly special to them, and, uh, special enough to make a trip there by themselves. It, it sounds like a coming-of-age right ritual, like how hatchlings stay hatchlings until their stomachs are strong enough to drink sap wine. Uh, maybe once a Nomai journeyed to the quantum moon, they were considered an adult. 
Ah, interesting. Also, apparently, we're still considered a hatchling because we can't stomach uh, the uh, the good good sap wine. Oh, they do. Right back has extra fingers. Interesting. I saw the hang comment. Oh, you visited the hanging city? Oh gosh, how was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it um, scary? The uh, uh, hanging city where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It was uh, their most advanced settlement here. Why would they close? Uh, maybe they need the black gold for something. No. It Later. Do they have an extra finger? Man, do we only have like four? Or I mean three. Also, is that a reference to like a scientist who discovered something about the radiation of black holes? Anyway, uh, what's this? Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Um, no. Whoop, ah, that's in case you fall. Um, great. How doth I get to the... Oh. Oh yeah, it's above me. Whoops. Let's see. Um, sorry, just pausing to read what you wrote. Oh yeah, her things are... Yeah, you handle sap wine, and when you talk to Porphy, you tell them that their sap wine is a daunting digestive challenge. Well, that's an option, but yeah. Alright. Oh. Herg. Oh, uh, well, that was uh, deeply unple unpleasant. I, I made it this far, though. Guess that's the uh, part to focus on, and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. Uh, but wow, this place is sure uh, sure something. Look at the hanging city, it's north from here, and east is a gravity cannon. I definitely want to see that. And another thing, I'm detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good since I, uh, uh, used up a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. And uh, as soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm gonna head further down below so I can refill my tank. Oh, poor buddy. Okay, so the Southern Observatory, Hanging City. Oh no, that's Southern Observatory, uh, Gravity Cannon, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Hanging City. E. Yay. Um, hey, you said that was a hundred percent surface integrity game. Don't lie to me. <laughs> All right, where am I? School district, Meltwater district, Eye Shrine district, Black Hole Forge. And yeah, you do learn so much about the generic traveler through potential conversation options. Uh, what's that? Malt water. Uh, have I been to the school district? I don't know if I have. That's both malt water. Uh, 
Read the district's name for a hit for the fast travel route here. Skull District, Meltwater, Ice Shrine, Black Hole Forge, Meltwater. The fast travel route here. Is it some of the ice melting? Meltwater. I mean, that sounds like it. Um, trying to think. Oh, where... This is still a residential area. Black Hole Forge controls. Useful. Oh. Oh. The Ashwin Project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? Interesting. Oh. Solution 2. We could craft an advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Oh wow, there's, there's a lot of conversation happening. Spire. Oh yeah, the first one was... oh, no name. Spire. Uh, abandoning the warps, uh, the vessel's warp core and its uh, casing means losing valuable knowledge. Mits. Or er, Midas? Minus. Now, this is true. However, it, it's knowledge we have little. It's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn. I think. Poke. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More, more relevantly, I believe the Black Hole Forge crew and I can recreate the basic design. Idaya. Idea? This is the safest path for our clan. Is Ivan's Ivan's is the safest path? Um, is the safest path the best p one? Our goal is worth the risk. Kasava, is it though? We've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one. We should choose the option with the least potential for harm. And yeah, I've never noticed those names before. Oh, I know. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have we don't have the design for such a powerful core, or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. Clary, no, but Pope was a apprentice to Anona who created the original design, and our Black Hole Forge is adept at cr creating, at cra uh, crafting simpler cores. Clary Poke. I believe I can be of use here. The Vessel's Warp Core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of its, many of its designs to me. Huh. Okay. No, earlier I was watching uh, some. I still need to finish the. Uh, oh, the Half Life VR, but the AI self aware. But the AI self aware uh, stream. Uh, what was it called? <laughs> the cast commentary. And just. I love all these nerds, because I just. For some reason, my brain keeps going to. No, don't mess with the science team. <laughs> Because basically everyone here is big science nerds. Hmm. Solution to one. We could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble. Oh, Phylox. Plume. My father said many good know my perish there. Psychad. My mentor, Coleus, and his... 
Old Mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil on Umber Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. Oh. Oh wow, this is, yeah, by the time that this has been set up, everything that's happened on Ember Twin must have happened like, yeah, like a generation ago, for, because Saigad's mentor was Coleus, which I think, wasn't Coleus a child by the time? Yeah, they, like, they were, uh, Coleus, I think he was, like, you know, not quite an adult, like, you know, they still call him a kid, like, you know, probably, if that makes sense. And there's... So, like, yeah. Yeah, because Galeus was the one who got, like, uh, his mentor left him on top of the, the Quantum Shard in the the caves on uh, Ember Twin. And then he went on his little, like, warp adventures. Oh. Wow. Anyway. Uh, Remy. Uh, I remember that anglerfish fossil. We used to play in... In Fossil Fish Cave when we were children. Elias, what Malari and I learned from that fossil would be theoretical, would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but our hypothesis was never tested on the live specimen. Yes, I think so. Elias. Yeah, I think Calais notes were kids chick uh, chicken scratch in the no entrance cave. Yeah, they were. So they're still pretty young. Oh. Or more accurately, teenage teenager no my chicken scratch. Yeah, probably. Um, Remy. The vessel's warp core is broken at best. Recall those present uh, recall those present with the vessel crashed. Said it sustained lethal injuries. There is no guaranteed reward for this risk. Hanoi, per perhaps we can still repair it. My grandmother told me there was a there's little time to assess the nature or there's little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Cassava. Even if it is no longer functions, the old the old core could be a valuable blue blue <laughs> Sorry, let me read that from the top. Ah. Even if it is no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint, provided we're able to transport it back here. Okay, so they were thinking about it, and then they ended up just abandoning that idea. Because it's like... Let's, like, hey, we can try building a, a strong enough core to warp. And, you know, um, Psychad. Psychad's mentor was... Psychad was mentored by the apprentice of Anona. Or was apprentice, apprentice of Anona. One of those two. Poke. Uh, I feel strange trying to recreate. I feel strange trying to recreate uh, Anona's warp core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice, and for the Black Hole Forge to be in my care and not his. I. I have to. I have the chance to try. <laughs> to have the chance to try is thrilling, but. I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this. Probably. But what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? I was wrong. Was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw Anona's warp core with my own three eyes. I only knew, know what he taught me. What if I've been off a larger portion than I can consume? Yeah, same here. I always thought no, no was a lady's name. Um, hypothesis. I will. This will always feel strange, even though my time with him was short. I miss my old mentor. And deeply. Still, all I can give is my best. And as Anona would say, should my best prove insufficient, 
then we will find another way to achieve what's, what's needed. I have Clary and Root in, in the forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Wow. You know, we barely see any, like, journals like that, it feels like, but... Is there any text or anything? No, there isn't. I remember one of these, like, finding a warp thing that was kind of, uh, led to some radiation somewhere, so I'm just really careful. It'd be horrible to be a Nomai alone. Yeah. Um, yeah, poke. Say hype. Prep talk. Yep. Oh, yeah, and here is the water. Can you stop that? Hello. Why can't I... Okay, it's at the North Pole. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's a shortcut. It's pretty stable. Oh, what? Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're you're absolutely right. I shouldn't have said that because yeah, a lot of the the journals in the old settlement are really emotional, but yeah. God, yeah, they were really just broken up after losing so many of their clan. Alright, and yeah, this helps me find how to get back there quicker. That's good to know. say I have enough fuel. I don't need to worry about getting more fuel, but uh, I don't know how much time I have left, but while I'm here, I might as well get the uh, the fuel from Feldspar's I see. Me. Ah, this is a smart idea. I'm being smart <laughs> and not wasting my resources or time. Uh, trying to go after this. And I bonk into everything, but yeah. A lot of those, especially in the old settlement on Brittle Hollow, are really emotional. Wait, am I at the wrong one? I'm at the wrong one. Ah, there it is. So that still hurts you, by the way, if you're not, uh, get out of the stream quick enough, but th thus is life. Thus is life. <laughs> Thank you, 
and here for the information. And yeah, this is the this is the school district. Let's explore here some more. I vaguely remember uh, finding a place around around here, but vaguely around an area like this that had uh, uh, ghost matter. And I guess I'm gonna export. I guess. Um, I do this methodically, but I don't know quite how to do that. Come on. Okay. that it'll always warn you when Ghost Matter is nearby. Yep. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay, gravity's a bit strong here. Oh, because the closeness to the black hole. If there's anything nifty up here. Okay, it seems. God. No, that was me. I'm gonna explore this myth. Thought. <laughs> ah, methodically. Ooh, that's uh, that's spicy. Ooh, ooh, that's ooh. Would you live in a city close to a black hole like this? You know what? If I was a Nomai, and I I would, because they they have gravity crystals and all such a nonsense. Did that just no clip through? Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm I'm more than cool with that. Oh hey, scroll. Let's try to do some reading amongst all these poor children. And yeah, I like the idea of this being the tool they use to write, because that makes sense. And oh no, it's children's writing. <laughs> That's nicely timed. <laughs> oh, what? You talking about the, uh, no clipping. I had one of my plant colors. But yeah, this looks like children's chicken scratch. But Lammy, explanation of festivals. 
all know my clans from all over the universe met in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. Oh, and oh, Phylex, don't forget, festivals happen every ten years. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Phylex says we used we used to go too. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Gnomai get to advance too, like a known as Warp Core, which made it so that everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. A single festival could last a long, long time. Sorry, small children. Well, then again, it's not like it's my fault about the... <sighs> so Solanum. Formation of, the of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is that everything used to be very hot and dense, tightly packed together. At this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster fast, and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep cooling, getting cooler, cooler, uh, colder and longer until one day the stars and life they support will all die. That's scary to think about, even though Conoid tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. Ba -da -ba -da -da -ba. Right. Thanks, kiddo. That, then again, I've seen Solan. Um, what with this? I've seen uh, Solanum's name before, actually, as like an adult, I think. Colder and larger. Yeah. Let's escape. <laughs> That's one I'll escape. They're the third child's essay somewhere. Is there? I'll check back there again since I know how to get there quicker. And yeah, I do want to know. Okay, I've seen that name pop up before, but yeah, I think when they're like an adult. Oh yeah! I remember now, I did read their essay, like, they went to the Gravity Cannon. That's where, that's what I was thinking of. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. But first, we've made some progress. Okay. I've learned how to do this by now. Yep. They were the one who wrote down that they were making their pilgrimage, I believe. Alright. Ship log. Really? Map mode. Thank you. Hanging City. The Nomai Deckard debated how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core required for the Ashwin project. There's more to explore here. Yup. Northern Glacier.
hit a tree. Fun times. <laughs> All right. All right. I don't think I'm gonna crash into our horrid friend, Hollow Lantern, soon. All right. I'm at the cell phone. That I still had to be incredibly careful, or I could just also be more careful and not take the uh, <laughs> express elevator. We don't want to tell a fragger poor belabored ship, so let's land on the surface. Still, uh, just in case I miss anything, because I did skip by a lot of the houses. Or, yeah, a lot of the buildings in the school district. Alright, so I went to that one. So that I know how much uh, surface integrity to expect. What? Oh. Oh yeah, this is what. Yeah, if you go from the old settlement, the new one you, takes you here. I forgot about that. I haven't checked out that one yet. Okay, I think there's an easier way to get up there. From the top. Well, yeah, I was, I, that's probably the school. Hearing land masses get consumed by the black hole. Oh, that takes you up. Not immediately surrounded by ghost matter. Good enough for me. Hello. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, you're having some lag issues. Tell me uh, if it's cool enough f to read. It's not cool enough to read. Yeah. You no, know I mean, if it's gotten any better, I, I, or, or I hope it's getting better. Ah, I hope it's getting better at least. But yeah. Let's read this. Alex. Why we should build a new vessel. Uh, it probably wouldn't be hard to get parts if we stop building other new things, and if we broke down other structures like the towers on Ashwin for parts. I, I know you're not my only viewer here, but, you know, you're the big reason I got into this game, though. Anyway. Um, we, could, we could even have a warp core for jumping long distances like vessels have. Poke tells me she plans to make a very advanced warp core for a different project. I'm, I'm sure she can connect it to the vessel for travel, because Poke is smart. Is a she. Um, we might have to build a smaller vessel for now. We, uh, Even though vessels are normally large, but we could make it bigger later once we reach planets with more resources. It would also help if we stop building so many things to search for the Eye of the Universe. I asked Jarl, and he says we use lots of resources on the Ashwin project. Each Nomai clan explores the universe in its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of every clan. It's unusual for Nomai to remain in one place for so long. Nomai wanderers, and we have no and have no permanent home. If we built a new vessel, we could return to an adventurous way of life. Imagine all the new places we can go. Our clan wouldn't be stuck here in this, in this star system. We could even meet the other Nomai and learn uh, from them, like Kalea says we used to do. Oh. Also, I'm petting a cat. But, huh. Interesting that even this... Yeah, I could... I, I Lux. I could have sworn that name also comes up at some point in the future. I mean, that is the one I read. Yeah. More than certain. But, just to make sure, because memory issues. Okay, Formation of the Universe, yeah. Huh. Interesting. The bit rate on my end is acting a bit scary, but should be fine. Also, well, that's the only thing to no and I can Okay, yeah, no, that was... I think that was the only thing to find here. So, yeah, I think that's the last S... Yeah, I think that's the last essay, too. And I think I'm... done here. Because, yeah, it just... Yeah, that's also radiation-filled. And, yeah. Yeah, if you go down here, it's like, oh, hey... This whole this whole corridor is just filled with uh, lethal radiation. Don't mess with it. I'm like, all right. So yeah, school district uh, thoroughly uh, scoured for information. Yeah, that'd be the normal path, I'm guessing. Alright. 
three or four districts now. Yeah, I think so too. The Meltwater district. Um, yeah. So this is Skull, Meltwater, Eye Shrine. Alright, so. Let's head up. That should be Eye Shrine. That's. Ooh. Stop that. <laughs> Stop threatening me with uh, explosions, game. I said, stop threatening me with explosions. Also, more know my beds. And I'm guessing at some point there was a uh, full floor here. Stop threatening me with a good time. Oh, another one of these things that may be how they wrote their their writings with. And we sure are fighting corpses of the dead. be like throttles here. Oh. Yeah. Sorry about your internet, dear, but yeah. A recorder. What's the little bit of cat? Um, cassava. I imagine I've been hard on a poke again. This is, this in turn means I've made things difficult for her sister, Clary. If poke and I are oil and water, Clary, Clary is our emulsifier. She certainly makes us a better team than would mixing through shaking. Although sometimes I'd like to sh shake poke. <laughs> Jokes aside, I suppose my own fear of never finding the eye prompted my argument with poke. That would be immature of me. I should apologize. At least to Clary, who would then tell poke. I'm guessing this is like a ball that they would play with. Her children would at least play with. Let's see here. Let's get some oxygen. And then head. Oh, I should probably head there before I run out of time. But I just want to clear out this building, make sure I'm not missing anything. Solanum. I no longer. Oh, and now they're definitely an adult. They're 
close to an adult by now. I no longer believe, as I did as a child on Ember Twin, that the eye of the universe, the source of the signal, wishes to harm us, but it may not want to be found either. The terrible circumstances of our arrival here were almost certainly exactly that circumstance. I suspect imagining we are special to the eye in some ways, wishful thinking, the eye might have called out to, to any sentient species. Or it might not have been calling out at all, and that my ancestors heard the eye signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. In fact, the eye may not have wishes at all. We have no evidence supporting this. Ooh. Ooh, gain some spicy... spicy takes about the eye. I trying to read there. Oh, so trying to read through the wall. Oh. More wall words. Yep. I'm trying to find that before I head on. Oh, there's the hole I was looking through earlier. It's a mess hall. Or mess hall, like a cafeteria or lunch room or something. Dining hall. That's a term. Hmm. Oh, excuse. All right, yeah, I think after, uh, Sorry, getting distracted. Be welcomed into this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us uh, what brought us to the star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and hold your mind to its and open your mind to its possibilities. What is the eye of the universe? The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. The eye is older than this universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. Ah, yeah, I found it. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it is a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it could have, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. These seems to be like musings about the eye of the universe. What is the eye signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. Of note, from the signal we are able to determine the eye's approximate age, or perhaps its lack of age? The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language it speaks a language we don't yet know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Fascinating, and there's that iconography of the signal the eye. And these seem to be kind of theological musings about the eye. But yeah, I think this is everything, more or less. Monk. Yeah, I've been. Yeah, 
Huh? Yeah, okay. That is what I found earlier. Oh, wait. I could have gone there. No. Wrong. Just make sure I... Okay, this is exactly what I thought it was. Alright. So yeah, I think I'm done in this area for what I can do in terms of uh, exploration. Yeah, because I've already been there and, uh, you know, Black Hole Forge, all that good stuff. And yeah, I can't, uh, remember when I tried going down from up there and broke my legs. That was a fun time. Let's not do that <laughs> again. Gabbro. Oh, Gabbro was launched in space, I think. Ah, <laughs> oh, that son of a gun. Alright, um... Right back. Okay, yeah, I'll right back to cross there, so I need to go up one more. I think. Wait. This is the school district. So, Meltwater, I think, is where I want to go. I should speak to Gabriel about th Oh, yeah, definitely. He would want to know about this. Uh, where's my... Uh, um... Rain. I'm blanking out. Okay, here it is. Now to get back. Because I can get back to my ship. If I just, uh, walk up here. Yeah, I actually have enough. I should have enough time to go speak to Gabbro, which is neat. Oh, about floating in the air. Yeah, because I'm surprised that they're able to just chill while doing that, unless they're doing what I'm doing and just uh, after burning it out. Just, uh, where is... Alright. Let's go speak to Gabbro. Okay, you know what? The worst that can happen, I get launched back into space. So, whatever. Uh, he, oh! Mm. 
What the fuck is that? Gap okay, fine, Gabro for now. If you're if you're so sure that I can't explore the fucking Eldritch Horror, then let, let's go. Let's bounce. Gavro, where are you? Yeah, send my gun. Broke my damn legs. Yeah. There, pal. Nice time. <laughs> hey, nice time, uh, pal. I swear that I have weight. Have I used that one before? Uh, uh. Actually, never mind. How do you stay so calm in face of impending death? Deep breaths. No, seriously. I meditate. Want me to teach you? It'll be the <laughs> it'll be the next loop before you know it. <laughs> sure, why not? Okay. Close your eyes. Huh. Kid of a squid. We have Elder Tor at home. <laughs> Would the Hearthians have the phrase kid of a squid? Yeah. Hmm. <gasps> oh. Oh. Have I learned how to meditate? Meditate until next loop. Oh, that's real good. Oh, that's real cool now. Alright. We've made a lot of progress. Oh boy, we made a lot of progress. Uh, you know what? I'll just look at the rumor map to get my brain thinking about what I want to do next time. And yeah, I'm glad I got that the last second too. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Map mode. New entries. Hanging City. The Nomai travel to the solar system. Yep. Is that everything in Pretty Hollow? That doesn't feel right, because Hollow's Lantern has its own uh, map, but we haven't made any discoveries yet. Then again, I don't know what to what to discover there. Hmm. Oh, I think next time we'll poke around here some more. Maybe... Yeah, we went to the... Yeah, I think Brittle Hollow is kind of done. Well, maybe I'll seek some confirmation from that before I make that call, but probably next time, hit up Hollow's Lantern, observe it, to see if there's anything we can do on it once the uh, lava dies down. And then we have giant. Oh, I think I want to do orbital pro cannon first, and then hit up the last things on the hollows deep. Oh, inside the seed. When I launch it, yeah, the vessel. The vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. The vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. Ooh. Oh, there's one thing at Brittle Hollow. One thing at. Uh, Hollow's Lantern, and Hollow's Lantern, a easter egg at the end of the loop, but it's a pain in the dongus. I believe it. But yeah, I'll search for that next time, but, you know, uh, <laughs> thank you for watching, and I hope you had fun watching these misadventures. See you next time. I say, as I forget...